Hey guys, it's Katie. Happy holiday season! It's officially the holiday season and that's just so exciting because I love the holidays. I love anything about holidays, so that's exciting. Um, today I am going to give you a video that I have wanted, that I really, I keep saying, I say that with like every single video. See, I have a list of videos that I want to do. Whenever it comes up, like they just come to me in a random idea, I'm like, I should probably do a video about this. And I put them down on a list and then so I just kind of get through my list when I can because sometimes other things will come up and then it's like, well, I guess I got to push this one back and yeah. So this is a video that I wanted to do for a little while now because um, most recently some events have happened in my life. And I am ready to give advice on them. It didn't just affect me, it affected other people. And you know, I'm not, the, this wasn't actually the first time something like, something similar to this has happened to me. So I figured, you know, I'm obviously not the only one who's going to go through this sometimes. So let's just do a video about it and me be all peppy and normally just how I am. So today I'm gonna to give you a video on how to tell if the guy is a player. Well, <clears throat> let me just first state, like, start off by saying what I think a player is. A player can be a guy or a girl. I've seen girls that I'm friends with play guys, so I know it can be a girl too. Um, but I'm a heterosexual female, <laughs> so I might just, and I'm gonna talk about a lot of my own experience. Um, so I may just prefer to guys, but just so you know guys, I <laughs> I understand girls can do the same thing. I don't mean to offend anyone or anything, because I know that can offend people. But a player is one of those people, those guys or those girls, that act like they like you, but then they completely blow you off, and they, they know it. They know they're special. They know there's something there. Um, and I'll get on to more about that in a little bit. But I'm going to give you five signs on how to know if the person you're talking to is a player because, boy, I know I would have loved to know that. <laughs> first things first. So, if this guy seems, if this guy seems when you're texting him like he's not very invested in it, then that probably means that he doesn't like you. Now, I've had, now to talk about that with players, to like explain that, how it pertains to players, this is what normally happens. For me, what recently happened to me is um, we weren't together, but he was talking about how in the future maybe we can get we can get together. Now, if a guy tells you that someday maybe we can get together, or he gives you a certain timeline, a time like that, he doesn't like you. <laughs> I was stupid enough to fall for it, but he doesn't like you. I've had friends go through the same exact thing where they'll be like, in a couple years, in this time period, we can get together, and then he ends up moving on. What the guy is doing when he tells you something like that is he, and don't worry, this is something I've looked up and this is something I've researched, this is something that even my guy friends have told me is to be true. What the guy means is he's gonna look around for more girls and if he doesn't, if he doesn't find anyone good, anyone else, if no one else seems to want to date him, then he goes back to you. So basically you're being put on a hook. So if the guy doesn't seem very interested in the text conversations, if he doesn't seem very interested, but he still tells you stuff like, oh, we're gonna be together, oh, you're cute, all this kinds of stuff, he's playing you. <laughs> he is completely playing you. He just wants to put you on a hook so when nothing better shows up, you're there. It's a sad thing. <laughs> But believe me, it's it'll feel a lot better when he's out of your life. <laughs> he'll feel a lot better after that kind of stuff. Another way to tell if he's a player is check how long it takes for him to text back or for him to talk to you. Nine times out of ten, guys who are very, very invested in you, who actually want to date you, they will try to get to know you and you will be the center of their attention. You will be a priority. All my guy friends have talked about, like my ones that have been in relationships and they are even in relationships, they'll talk about all the time how that the, how the girl was that they're with, the girl they're really like, they're gonna make her a priority. If you are the big part of his life, you're gonna be a priority. But if he is spending some time elsewhere, yeah, you may, either he's really busy, and sometimes he really is busy, you gotta give him credit, sometimes they really can be busy, but if he's busy all the time, <laughs> That's a very good sign to show you that he doesn't really mean what he's saying. So this is jumping, this is springboarding off of what I last said. Like if he's telling you good things about you and he's telling you like, oh yeah, I like you. At some point we're gonna go back, we're gonna get together. We're gonna do all those kinds of stuff. But he is spending time elsewhere and not with you. He doesn't like you. He is completely holding you on a hook and that is not where you wanna be. You do not wanna be on a hook. You are so much better than being on a hook. Every single person on this planet has, even outer space, if they're aliens, if that's a thing, I don't wanna go into that. 
so I'm just gonna say every person on the planet. <laughs> but every human being, every single life form, everything that has a beating heart, that has a life, is capable of happiness. Like, look at dogs. Dogs are just born with love and happiness, and then they just love you, and you have to be, and they, they're the ones who wait for you all day. They don't have no sense of time, and they wait all day just for you to get home, and it's the highlight of their day. That's just, stuff like that. Everyone is capable of having that kind of happiness. Everyone deserves to have some kind of happiness and some kind of love in their hearts, and everyone deserves to feel that way, too, by other people. So if this guy is trying to make you feel that way, but he's not, He's not doing it, he's completely playing you, and you deserve so much better. <laughs> okay, this one is a hard-hitting one for me. Oh god, okay. So, if he seems to be texting other girls. Now, I understand guys can have girlfriends, completely. I understand they can have friends with their girls, go ahead, I think that's completely fine. It's whatever. He needs to know that there's a balance between a girlfriend and a friend that's a girl. From my past experiences, if a guy seems to not be texting me back that much, but I know, but like say I go on Twitter and I see pictures of him and a girl, or I go on Instagram and I see pictures of him with other girls, and he doesn't really care that I care, because you know us girls, we get jealous, everyone gets jealous, not just girls, guys do too. But if you're getting jealous or if something else is going on, if something's brewing inside of you and he doesn't care about it just because he says he's allowed to have girlfriends, sure he's allowed to have girlfriends, but he should respect your decisions. So if he's not respecting your decisions and if he's spending more time with other girls, then you need to know you're being played. My experience is that I had a guy that I had a, <laughs> a guy tell me that he wanted to date me at one point, but at the same time he was trying to hook up with other girls. And I would ask him, and I would ask him things like, I know, like, what is this? Like, I'd see pictures, I'd see, like, I'd realize that he's texting other girls and stuff, and I'd be like, what's going on? And he would tell me it's nothing, when later on I found out it was something. And you don't want to be put in that situation. You are worth so much more than what this guy is trying to make you feel. You're worth so much more, and you will find a, de you will find a guy at one point who will definitely treat you that way. <laughs> My next thing, so if the guy, <laughs> if the guy isn't being very open with you, he doesn't like you. Um, guys, when, when I know if I, as a girl and just as anyone in general, if you like someone, you're going to want them to know everything about you and you want to know everything about them. If he's not very open with you, <laughs> except for in other situations, like in kind of bad situations, if you know what I mean, <laughs> if he's not open with you, then don't waste your time. He should be open with you and tell you everything about his life. He shouldn't be waiting around for that moment when you're finally open with him in other ways and then he's finally open with you in other ways. You don't want that to happen. You don't want that to be the basis of a relationship because I hate it when I see people, when I see people just kind of want to fool around and they just want to kind of do all this kind of stuff. I understand that's a way you can live and I'm not going to completely like bag that. Like, I don't want to completely bag that. And people who do that, I know people are great people. And I have lots of faith in humanity and I don't want to say that's a terrible way to live. But I just think there's more to a relationship and you're never going to find the right person until you let go of the wrong one kind of thing. Does that make sense? Yes, <laughs> that does make sense. So if you're looking, if I know a lot of girls are looking for love and they're looking for a relationship and they're looking for something good. If you're, if you're chasing something good, by doing the complete opposite, then you're never gonna find something good. It's a big life lesson I've talked about on here, I've done speeches about it, I've done things like that. Seek and you shall find. I love that whole saying because whatever you're looking for in life, you will find it. And sometimes you don't even realize what you're looking for. If you are seeking for a party life and you want to be the life of the party, you want to go drinking, you want to sleep with girls, you want to do whatever you can. If you seek that life somehow, if you seek that inside of you, you're going to end up finding it. If you're seeking for the kind of life where you want success and you want to find a relationship and you want to ha find like actual love and stuff, you will find it in time. Time is what heals all wounds and time is what will bring your life together. But if you are just, but if he is going around and wanting to, you know, just, if, if the only time he ever really makes time for you is when you're not wearing much, then that's how you know that this is not the relationship that you're actually looking for. I know with like my friends and people I've known in my life, they have been looking for, they have been looking for that kind of relationship. And if you're looking for that, that's fine. That's okay. If that's what you want in your life, that's what you want. But if you are looking for an actual relationship, because this is what my video is about, is about finding an actual relationship and saving you from 
something that could ruin that. Uh, if you're looking for an actual relationship and that's the only side, that's the only kind of relationship he wants, then don't waste your time because that's not what's going to bring you to an actual relationship and find love. Again, again, if <laughs> if that's the if that's what you want, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. I don't I mean, I'm not going to stop people from using from their own beliefs. I'm not going to stop them from their own lifestyle. I'm not gonna, I'm not that kind of person. But I'm just saying, as a girl who really wants an actual relationship, if I found out the guy I was talking to only wanted that kind of relationship and didn't want the kind of relationship that I wanted, I wouldn't spend my ni my time with him. That's what I mean. <laughs> so I was like, just so you know, that's what I mean. And my last one, my last thing is if he's genuine or not. You can tell when a person is genuine. And what I did is I actually showed my parents the text. I would show my parents the text. I would show my friends the text. Because sometimes as a person receiving them, you can read into them and you can make excuses. You can do all that kind of stuff. But if you show other people, people can see through a lot more than you think they can. So if he actually seems genuine, like if he seems like he actually wants to keep you in his life, because this is what a real relationship will do. A real guy in a real relationship, if he really wants to be an actual boyfriend to you and not just a, not just a boyfriend, you know? If he wants to be an actual boyfriend to you or, actual, or if she wants to be an actual girlfriend to you, she will make sure you know and she will keep you around. She will do whatever she can or he will do whatever he can to make sure that you are sticking around. That is what a real, a real relationship is where the other person and they both, or the other person, both the people, actually do whatever they can to make sure that person sticks around. So if he doesn't seem genuine, or if she doesn't seem genuine over text, if they don't seem that way, if they don't seem like they actually think you're cute, if they're texting you at 10.30 saying like, hey cutie, all of a sudden, they're not very genuine. They're not going to be genuine and they're not going to want the kind of relationship that you want. So don't waste your time on that. If he wants a certain kind of relationship that you want, like I, that you don't want, like I just mentioned, if you don't want that kind of relationship, but he wants that kind of relationship, if you know what I mean, then don't do it. You don't have to be obligated to do that just because he's cute or something. So that's a little bit of a rant. Um, that's that's like all my videos. Ugh. I say the same thing all the time with everything, like it just in life. That's what I wanted to, that's, those are some signs that if he's a player and what to look out for, some warning signs. Um, what, from one video turning to the next, that's what my videos basically consist of. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that. If you did, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. I will see you guys later. Bye.